Hello, I'm here with Josh. What's going on? The half of Brothers Green, and they have a YouTube channel that's all about food. Mostly it's all about, everything. It's everything. I mean, we focus on finding people that maybe want to make quick, cheap, fun food yeah. and like show them how to do it. People that don't think they can cook or are used to eating fast food, it's like, nah, you can make food no matter who you are. Everything looks really good. You actually have some vegan things on We there. do have some yes. vegan. My brothers did like a $50, how to live on $50 a week being vegan for a challenge, yeah. and that was cool. So we are here at um, McCarran Park in Brooklyn, and Josh is gonna make some delicious recipes for us, so I'm so excited to try. These are all Thai-inspired. Okay. I, I was doing a lot of research. I know for us it was all about using avocados in creative ways, and I feel like a lot of the things that I saw I had already made before, so I started thinking about what are the foods that I like to eat, mm -hmm. and then just started thinking about awesome Thai foods like papaya salad and pad thai and like mm -hmm. waterfall beef, and how can I veganize them? So that's what nice. I like to do, you know? <laughs> so the first one is super simple. This is, have you ever had papaya salad? Uh, it's been a while that I haven't. Yeah. Yes. So this is like papaya salad. I didn't have papayas. I had uh, unripe mango and carrots. Oh, nice. So I just take a shredder and kind of whoosh, 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 right? Yeah. And then just get a bunch of that in there. Oh, I guess we're going the whole thing. One of the, I think if you're traveling or in general to have, like getting a julienne peeler is one of the greatest things. They're oh. great. Whoosh. Traveling Ooh, is Ooh, that's a cool knife. Right? Cheetah knife. <laughs> Signature cheetah knife right here. And this is just really nice because you're getting like a salad aspect of it, but there's a lot of crunch. And if you have a green Ooh. mango, that's great. But if not, just carrots in general, you can even do beets. They work yeah. super duper well. Whatever you have at home that's like... Any kind of vegetable. Yeah, even um, our zucchini. Zucchini. Anything that can noodleify. It's cool by me. Ooh, mint. Fresh mint. Wow, I love the smell of mint. Smell that, that's Thai basil. Ooh. I like to chop it and cut it and tear it, whatever I feel like. With like Thai food in general. It's a lot of like, feel it, right? You gotta feel it's, it. It's a lot of feel. Like they really get to know their flavors, but there is a rustic nature to it. Nothing is like necessarily looks refined, you know? Yeah. As <laughs> long as it tastes good, I know. fine by me. Most of the best meals I've ever eaten are meals like just on some little street cart for a dollar. You know, you can true. tell that person, you go to like Thailand or in my case, I've been to Vietnam and that whoever the food you're getting from, like they've been doing it for, 20 years and they make that so juice. That's no, true. Oh my gosh. Hands or tongs, whatever feels right. We have some lime juice, all the lime juice in there, perfect. Nice. Now, tomato. I like these bowls. And they're colorful, right? Yes. Color. All about color. It's just like. Color. In New York City, a lot of people just wear like black. That's um, true. You gotta get the color because it yeah. reflects into yourself. Yes. You know? Ooh, tomatoes. Tomatoes are really nice. Nice. And typically with like a papaya salad, you would actually, in Thailand, you would use the uh, mortar and pestle, but it's like the light one. Okay. So they, there's like this pok pok sound, where okay. the term pok pok comes from. Ooh. Um, which you'll see when you, if you go to Thailand or when yeah. you go to Thailand. I'm going to Thailand, you guys. Whoa. I know that some of you might be going to the fruit festival or Rato Four festival. Community, you get to meet a lot of fun people, so. Ooh, a little fun. salt. Nice. Zing bazoom. Salt. And then avocado. I feel like we of keep course. almost forgetting the avocado. Right? <laughs> Me too. On my recipes, it's like the last thing I would add. Carrots, lime, mint, basil. Basil. A little bit of tomato. mango. Tomato. Unripe mango. Oh, yeah. Unripe mango. Tomato avocado. And avocado. And that's it. And typically in Thailand, what they would do to a papaya salad is they would use sugar and they would use fish sauce. Okay. And probably a lot of chilies. I wanted to start off because some of the other dishes get a little bit like more flavorful. I wanted to start off with this one, just like really light and fresh. Mm. And this is just lime juice. I oh. oh my! I can't wait to try this. Yeah. Ooh yes, peanuts. peanuts. Up, Boom! So good. Let me get a little picture of that myself. Try? Yes, I want to try. So this will be our like little starter, a little lighter, a little lighter fresh. Started. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow. wow. Good, right? Simple. Mmm. -hmm. The basil with the <laughs> the basil with with the with a mint, it's so good. It's mm. so good. 
With a salad like this, you really don't need much. Mm -hmm. And this will sit in your fridge for days. Mm -hmm. And just keep getting better and better and better. So good. A lot of Thai dressings and stuff like that. Yes. A lot of things they have are salads, so they'll have like a master dressing. Okay. But there might be slight variations. Okay. So in this case, this is what I would consider a veganized version of mm. Pad Thai sauce you can smell. You're welcome to Oh my gosh. Taste. What does that have? Oh that my god. So, so this has soy sauce, palm sugar, chilies, tamarind, and I use a little bit of dark soy, but it's a little harder to find, so if you don't have it, no big deal. But just take some soy sauce. So at, good. Dissolve. If you don't have palm sugar, you can use brown sugar or white sugar. Um, the tamarind is really cool. You get like get or make a tamarind paste. That's mm -hmm. like the tartness. I added a little bit of lime to mine and then some just ground up Thai chilies. Yeah. And that's gonna be like our rock and roll sauce. Oh, you know? solid. Oh, sorry. No, you wanna you, you take, you pour. <laughs> I wanna take over. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> just spiralized zucchini, which I'm sure nice. you know much yes. about. We make, like, we make some we make a lot of it on our channel. Cool. Crush up some of these peanuts. Nice. Bazing, bazing, bazing. And then the, this goes on that. That is yeah, that's gonna be like the dressing, which we'll kinda get everything in there first and then we'll okay. give it a big dress. Ooh, some I bean love Bean sprouts. Those. Bean sprouts. So good. La, la, yummy, la, yummy. La, la. Okay, cool. Yay, it's so pretty. Avocado masters. How do you want it cut? Uh, I think we can do little like chunks, you know, like you like okay. diced up kind of. Diced up. See this? Like, oh like yeah, the, the sun on. is setting. I can add some cilantro. Oof. Oh, cilantro goes well with almost anything. Oh man. Even in smoothies. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so that is in there. Yeah. Now you want to pour the sauce in? Okay, I'll pour the sauce. Because I think I'm going to add some mango. Ooh, yes. All of it? Uh, let's see. Let's start with it. That's a good start. All right. And then we'll kind of, you can keep mixing that up. All right. Everything here is like very simple. It's like you take zucchini noodles, you mix a couple things in a bowl, That's you true. cut up some stuff. It's so it might seem complicated when you're eating it, but everything on its own is a very simple thing. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of food I like. It's super simple. Most. Not that many ingredients. This looks so good. Excited to try it. Can't wait to try it. <laughs> With a plate. Yeah. Just, they all have this extra, they're like seasoned yes, flavor. Yes, it's seasoned with <laughs> avocado, <laughs> of course. We need to see how we're working on this dressing. Soften all. How is that? Really good? Mm -hmm. A little more. Yes, pour it all in. Kind of just went, yeah. Fuck it out. That, you guys, it smells so good. In our marinated plate here. Yay! We just invented a new term. The marinated plate. plate. Yeah. <laughs> Look how good this looks. This looks delicious. And it wow. needs just a little bit of just those little things, you know, a little oh, more yes. peanuts on top. A couple of peanuts, Yum. a little bit of cilantro on top. Ripped and teared. Chef for a minute and clean up the plate. That's all I know about being a chef. <laughs> rim thing. Yeah. Ready to try? Let's do this. Yes, I'm so ready. Get some mango in there. Mmm. Mm. That's like some wow. Up thai, right? Wow. 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 Seriously. <laughs> It's so good. Mm. So good. You guys have to try this. Yeah, and you know, Pad Thai, people are used to having chicken and eggs. You don't even need it. Nope. I don't miss it at all. Nothing at I all. Never heard of it. Mango. Mm. With a mango. The mango is nice. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit more of this. Mm. And also, all this cooking is... Mangoes are in season too, you guys. So. That's true. They're cheap. Get them while they're hot. Yep. This last dish is really cool. I'm gonna gather the arsenal of stuff. The arsenal special stuff. Special secret sauce What is here. that? Oh my gosh. You can smell that. Can I smell it? Can That's... I try it? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness. It's crazy, right? We need the recipe for this. We need the recipe. So, so this. What is this? Is avocado, mashed up, palm sugar, soy sauce, a little lime juice, rice vinegar, and that's it. That's it? That's it. Oh my goodness. Um. 
It's that looks gonna so be good. delicious. There's this dish they have in Thailand called waterfall beef, where they like grill beef and toss it with a lot of different fresh herbs. Okay. I wanted to do a vegan version because mm. you just omit the beef and the fish sauce, and you're still good to go. Yay! But there's vegan friendly. Vegan friendly. Woo! Yeah. So this is shiitake. Can I try? Yeah. Shiitake. And little carrots. Mm. And there's like it's just a little salt, nothing else. It just sauteed them up. Sauteed with what? Sauteed with oh, just sauteed. a little bit of avocado oil, mm. and that's it. Right? Wow. Now, in here is just chopped up scallions, mint, and cilantro. Okay. I'll let you add a pretty good amount. The thing that's More? interesting about this is it's like a waterfall beef, in our case, mushroom scallions, salad. Scallions, mint, and cilantro. Yeah, so they, they actually add like a lot of herbs. And this, you're going to want to smell this. This is, what this is, is where this? the magic happens. Oh my gosh. And you think it couldn't get better. It's crazy. Wow, so that what is this? is thinly sliced kaffir lime, lemongrass, and chili. And normally, like, mm. you wouldn't think to just eat that. A lot of times they'll put that in, like, a coconut milk yeah. or, like, a stew or something. Mm -hmm. Thinly sliced, so when you bite into it, you're getting these, like, explosions of wow. floral craziness. So you can add a good amount of that. Like, maybe half of that. Okay. Um, I'm so excited. Now, in this little mystery bag here, this is toasted rice powder. Nice. Which is other, also, it's a really cool, I'll let you try it, like, on, on its own. Um, rice powder? Yeah, what you do is you take some... Thai sticky rice, or really any rice, mm -hmm. and you toast it in a mm. pan, and then you just mortal and pestle it, or just blend it up, and it's wow. like this crunchy kind of, almost like peanutty thing, wow. nutty flavor. So that goes in too. That is so good. And on its own, it's like it's interesting, but when you mix it together with everything, it adds a really cool wow. crunch. Yeah, I want to add a little bit of lime to this as well, instead because this is pretty thick. So you can actually just spoon some of that in there. Okay. Um, but it's a pretty Tell me thick, how much. just like that much, like yeah. That much. So typically with this sauce, the dressing would actually be more liquidy. But with okay. the mango, I just wanted to see what would happen, and it kind of okay. so it's going to take it to a different dimension. But we'll add. It's really good. A little more you're sauce. Gonna, you're going to be happy. I am going to be so happy. I am already very happy. Do you want to plate that? Yeah, we'll too? Do, let's do the final plate. Why not? Let's do it. And this is another thing where you take a little bit of time to prep the food and you can come to a picnic like yeah. we're having today and just whip so up. So easy. And then <gasps> Look you guys. And we give a oh little more gosh. rice powder too. That looks so good. Okay. Yeah, more rice powder. And this Yum. Is kinda, boom. Oh my gosh. So what, what do you call this dish? American equivalent is waterfall beef salad, but nam tuk. Nam tuk. Yes. Nam tuk. Nam tuk. Here we go. Salud. Mm. Wow. Crazy, right? So many flavors. The lemongrass kaffir lime is not something like, you know the first time my friend made it for me? Oh I was like gosh. a little freaked out. I'm like, really, you're doing that? Yeah. Mm, but. You know what? I've bought kaffir lime before. Mm. And I ended up not using it. It freezes really well. Okay. A lot of. Here's the thing about Thai food, it's a mix of really cool, you know, exotic flavors and fresh stuff. But a lot of the exotic things like the kaffir lime, they freeze well, lemongrass. Yeah. So you can buy it, put it in your freezer, and then just have this like delicious thing. And if say you want to make a coconut soup, you add just a little coconut milk to a pan, kaffir lime, lemongrass, chilies, cilantro, and boom, you have this great. It's delicious. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Josh, you're a great chef, honestly. Thank you. Mm. Okay. And they also have a show on mm -hmm. MTV, which is so cool. What's it? What's it called? Brothers Green Eats. Brothers Green Eats. Go check it out. It's around the world. Actually, airs everywhere but America. But I'm sure you nice. can find it here. You know, yeah. with the internet and stuff. Mm -hmm. wow. I have one more thing. Yeah. That's not cooking, but it was a frozen dessert. Now it's probably half a half frozen dessert. I'll give you this magic spoon. It's banana. Uh huh. Maple syrup. Avocado, um, coconut cream. Okay. A little bit of coconut oil and some coconut on top. Oh and my God. oh, lime juice. So it's kind of like juice. a. Oh, it's like a key lime pie ice cream. There you go. Avocado, coconut, key lime fry. Like a frozen oh, yeah, pie. Oh, yeah, fry. Mmm. Wow. That's nice. That's really good. That's delicious. It's so good. Yeah, thank you for having me here. No. This has been awesome. Thank you. Really, thank really you, fun. Josh. Yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun, honestly. And we've 
tried a lot of really good things. We have, and yeah. thank you so much for having, for being here with us. Yeah, I don't remember like who's, who's yeah. like mine, yours, <laughs> <who's> <laughs> I know, <who>? seriously. <laughs> and um, go check out his channel. How do, how can they find you? If you just search for Brothers Green, yeah, Brothers Green Eats is the channel. But if you look for Brothers Green, we'll be the first to pop up. Yeah. And if not, tell me because I'm about to do something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> go check them out. And subscribe to their channel too. Yeah. While you're there. <laughs> and resubscribe to her channel if that's possible. And subscribe here if you awesome. haven't. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye.